Since this channel is dedicated to the repair of Apple products and discussing the hardware faults within them, a common question that I get is, are there any Apple products that are designed that are durable? Something that's not going to blow within one or two years. So today I'd like to go over the one thing within the Apple ecosystem that never, ever blows. And we're going to be doing this within the context of a board repair video. Now, if you just want to skip ahead and figure out what it is, I'll leave something in the description, a little hint. But I think that you should watch the video rather than just skip ahead to the hint because it's going to be an interesting one. Why's this MacBook got no backlight? I didn't spill nothing on it. I didn't spill anything on this MacBook. How is it possible that it's got no backlight? I honestly didn't spill anything on it. So the no backlight's likely going to be because of disconnected feedback. See this? Disk. This is supposed to connect to this, and it's not. But I have to connect this to that. And you can see where it, it broke off. Actually, I can make the connection right here. I don't even have to run some long convoluted wire. All right. So that might just do it. Check that out. This needs to know how fast it needs to switch. The more it switches the coil to ground, the more the coil rages, and the more the coil rages, the more power you get. So it has to see what it's creating. So this chip that does the switching has a line called feedback. And the feedback is going to be between backlight output, which is at the diode, backlight, to the LP8550. And that's this little probe point where it says XW7720. So it shows backlight output PPHV SOSW LCD Bicklet is attaching to this little thingy, and that thingy is going to go to the other side of the board and go onto my LED driver on ball five. So what you're seeing over here is the break between backlight output, which is uh, over here, and the via to the other side of the board, which is over there. So what I did is I ran my, my little jumper wire of fire from here to there, Bada bing, bada boom. And just to give you an idea of the size of that wire, let me show you what the tip of my tweezer looks like. These are some Dumont 5E tweezers. And I don't even know if I can... Yeah. So that's what my tweezer end looks like. And that's the size of the wire. Backlight voltage is... Zero. Fuse voltage is 8. Voltage into coil, 0.1. All right, so what's not opening here? Let's see. All right, so Q7706 is a P-channel MOSFET. It's going to open when the voltage on pin 3 is lower than the voltage on pin 4. We can find that down here. So I'm going to measure pin 3. Actually, no, that's pin 1. Pin 3 has 2.77 volts on it. Pin 4 has 0.12 volts. The backlight fuse has 8. Okay, so it seems like we have a break in the path between the backlight fuse over here and the MOSFET over here. So that's the next thing that we're going to have to observe. So let's see what that looks like on the board. Q7706 looks sad on the board. Hey, long time no see, Game Boy Genius. Did the fuse actually do something? No, of course the fuse didn't blow, Chris Long. The fuse never blows. It's an Apple product. What blows is the actual pathway between the fuse and important components. Because if the fuse was doing its job, this would not be an Apple product. And it isn't. So, I'm 
probably going to remove that fuse anyway, just because it looks like garbage. But the fuse itself is not the problem. I'm just removing it to make it easier to work in this area. Sad. Watch, I'll, I'll prove it to you. That fuse is fine. I'm just removing it because it's cosmetically aggravating. So resistance measurement. That fuse is... That fuse is not resistant. The transistor was likely good too. It was just the, the solder or something had corroded away by it. Either way, this stuff looks like shit. So it's just gonna go in the trash. We ran the jumper wire for feedback once we saw that the feedback part was damaged. Now, after that was fixed, we turned it on, but we still had 0.2 volts of backlight output. 0.2 instead of eight or 20 or 30 means that there's likely a break in the line. Zero volts would mean blown fuse or the machine's telling the backlight not to turn on, but 0.2 volts is not a valid state. So we checked and over here we had 0.2 volts. So we checked back here at the beginning of the circuit and we had 8.5 volts. So then we checked over here and we had 0.2 volts. And then I checked here and I had 0.2 volts. And I checked here and I had 0.2 volts. And over here I had 0.2 volts. At that point, I know that the issue has to be somewhere between here and here. So I measure here and I get 8.5. Measure here, I get 0.2. Issue, break in the line over here. And when you look at the board right in that section between the fuse and here, bam, it's easily visible. That top left pad right over here is the one that is destroyed. And it's going to be difficult for us to you know, scrape that off because I have the micro pencil on, on, not the standard iron, but we'll get it. So time to put a little bit of flux. A little bit of solder, get down tonight, and and the fuse pad. We're also gonna. And try to get rid of any of the junk and garbage that may be present in there. Okay, we're going to replace our fuse and then we're going to replace that transistor and this is going to be an amazing, beautiful, lovely board. Okay, we're gonna prepare the board for my transistor next. A tiny bit of flux. Chris Long says Apple makes some damn good fuses, that's all I'm saying. Yeah, that's a quality fuse. It's one of the few things Apple makes that doesn't blow. One of the few things Apple makes that doesn't blow are the fuses. Apple engineering. Again, why have the fuse blow when you can just have the pathway between the fuse and the circuit fail? The funny thing is, in the Retina model, they had current sensing put in that year. And on this machine, they actually have current sensing on the board, but, and they wound up not using it in the air of this year. Because if this were the other model, the fuse wouldn't blow, but you also wouldn't have to burn circuit traces because it would shut off the pathway not let anything through. Yeah, I guess, I guess like $1,100 for this machine wasn't enough to implement that feature. Uh, you gotta save that for like the 1399 ones, you know what I'm saying? Chris Long is right. Apple does make some damn good fuses. That's all he's saying.
He's just complimenting them on the quality of their fuses. That's some adorable stuff right there. Apple knows how to make a very durable fuse. Okay, I bet we're gonna have a light now. We're gonna get a light. We should be excited. I'm excited. Come on, Lewis needs a new bicycle to replace a stolen bicycle. Lewis doesn't want to take the train anymore. The train sucks. Aha! There's a light. Look at that. It's an apple. It's an apple. All right. We have an apple logo. So that's that. Yes, in case you were wondering, the one thing inside of Apple products that never blows is the backlight fuse. What will blow is the screen cable, the LCD connector, everything in between it. But the backlight fuse, that is the most durable component in the Apple product when they engineered this device. They engineered it with such a strong and powerful fuse that it never blew. So that's the one component inside your Apple products that you can be guaranteed is never going to blow, the protection circuitry. Thanks for watching, and as always, I hope you learned something. This video is brought to you by our sponsors at store.rossmangroup.com. Thank you for supporting our sponsors that help keep us in business. On store.rossmangroup.com, you can find chips, supplies, ultrasonics, flux, soldering stations, and more. With 4.9 stars on Shopper approved, same-day shipping from New York City, and free continental shipping over $30, you can't lose. We even offer free support, unless you're a please bro, live chat, and are adding new products every day. We even got rid of our old terrible merchant services provider that used to decline random transactions for no reason. If you buy today, we'll throw in a special offer that your order will actually go through properly. What are you waiting for? Go to store.rossmangroup.com to get yourself some authentic Amtec Flux. Don't delay. Buy today.